السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان بہاف آف مرکز صحابہ دا وائس آف الو سنہ و جماعہ وی پریزنٹ ٹو یو لیسن نمبر سکسٹین نائنٹی نائن آف آور ڈیلی نصیحہ این ایڈوائس ٹو ڈے و دا گریس این مرسی آف آل میٹ اللہ جل ولا وی فوکس آن دا فورٹین آف ذو الحجہ It was on the 14th of Zul Hijjah 1080, 1080, after Hijrah, corresponding to the 5th of May 1670, the Grand Wazir Minister of the Ottoman Empire, Fadil Basha Rahimamullah, departed from the Crete Islands, C-R-E-T-E, Crete Islands after conquering the fort of Kandiyah. This wazir fought for three, ba- fought three battles which lasted one, a year and a half. So he fought for a year and a half and he participated himself in these three battles. He lived underground during the winter months because remember this is very, very cold places and it goes into minus 10, 15 and so forth. So imagine the sacrifices they made so that Islam could be established in all these different parts of the world. May Almighty Allah grant them all the highest, highest stages in Jannatul Firdaus Al-A'la. Now today is the 14th of Zul Hijjah, so what should we know? Remember, now you can start fasting. You know that five days in the Islamic lunar calendar you can't fast. The first of Shawwal, when Ramadan finishes, Eid al-Fitr. Then the 10th of Zul Hijjah, that is Eid al-Adha. And the three days after that, you can fast the 11, 12, 13. 13. So wherever you are, you follow your local calendar. And if it is the 14th today, so remember, then you can start fasting. So that would be permissible, whether it's your Qadha fast or Nafil fast or Sunnat fast or whatever. Those of you who want to keep the Ayyamul Bees, that is the days of whiteness because the moon is shining in its glory, beauty. So every month you fast 13, 14, 15. For Zul Hijjah, you will fast on the 14, 15, 16. So remember, Ramadan fast is completely. Compulsory, the other 10 months you fast 13, 14, 15th. But for Zul Hijjah, you will fast 14, 15, 16 with the help and mercy of Almighty Allah Jalla Wala. And what is the wisdom and rationale for that? Man jaa bil hasanati falahu ashru amthaliha. Whosoever does a good deed, the minimum he will receive is 10 rewards. So three fasts, so it becomes 30, as though as the person can fast the whole month, the reward he will receive. receive then the umrah season has opened from the 14th see sayyid sayyida aisha siddiqa radiyallahu anha on the night of the 14th because she was crying mustafa habibuna sallallahu alaihi wasallam sent her with the brother abdurrahman radiyallahu an and they performed the umrah so inshallah once the visas open once everything opens then we want to go for umrah totally permissible from the 14th of zul hijjah so from now already O oh Muslim O oh Muslima read two rakat salah daily after Zohar after Maghrib after Isha before Isha Ishraq time or Allah give tawfiq tahajjud time and you read Kul Ya Al-Kafirun after Fatiha Kul Wallahu Ahad after Surah Fatiha and then read this verse Surah 2 Surah Baqarah verse 128 Wa arina manasikana wa tubalayna innaka anta tawfiq Oh beloved Allah, you show us the places of Hajj and Ya Allah, Umrah and Mina, Arafat, Muzdalifa. But for Umrah, you just go to Makkah, obviously. You can go for Ziyarat and visit when Medina will come in also, obviously. And Allah, forgive us. Innaka anta tawwabu rahim. Ya Allah, you are off forgiving, very, very merciful. So in a case like that, each one of us, remember, must make a concerted effort. So for 14 Zul Hijjah, number one, fasting starts. 14 Zul Hijjah, remember that the, uh, the Umrah season starts again. And 14 Zul Hijjah is the date when Mustafa, Habibuna sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, departed after the Hajj. Now let us learn the dua. 
Habibuna وسلم, entered on the 4th of Zilhijjah and 14 left. So including the days of Hajj, the whole journey there was stay there was 10 days. And now returning the hadith in Ibn Majah, Allahumma j'alha hajjatan la riya'a fiha wa la sum'a. Ya Allah, make it a hajj to teach me and you to set the precedent for humanity and posterity. Make it a hajj. It is not to impress the eyes of people wala sum'a and not to impress the ears of people may all may Allah make us min al maqbulin from his accepted servants ameen ya rabbal alamin assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh